a um, a hot button or a hot topic that uh, has been discussed these last few weeks would be the overturn of Roe versus Wade. Abortions are no longer protected under federal law. A protection to the unborn. Now, you don't know me, and I don't know you. But I would like to know how many of us asked to be born. Did any of you ask to be born? Did you go to some God or creator and you went to that God or creator and said, Hey, that earth looks pretty nice. And those people right there, I like them. I sure would like to be a baby and grow up on the earth. Hey, hey, could you? Hey, I would like to, I would like to go down to earth. I would like to be born on that fun place, the earth. <laughs> How many of us have done that? I doubt it. So none of us ask to be born. And that's just how it is. Now, on the other side, we have life, and then we have death. Now, death, we actually have a choice. In fact, sometimes others make our choice for us. Who knows how many how many people are murdered in the United States this week, uh, this day? How many people would be murdered during the short brief time of this video? Somebody else decide it's time for you to leave. So if anybody, if anybody can take our life against our will, don't you think that perhaps out of everybody, we ourselves should be able to make that choice? I don't want to be here. What brings me to this topic, I was thinking about people in prison there are many thousands and thousands of people in prison I will also add mental institutions but I cannot add mental institutions because the first argument is they are mentally ill they are not you know a person that's in a mental facility isn't competent enough to make a decision like that. So we're just going to look at the thousands and millions of dollars that the United States and other governments spend on people who will never leave prison. They will die in prison. Now, of course, some of them were handed down the, the death penalty. So they are just waiting for a day. Actually, you don't have to wait. The reason why the death penalty takes so long is because of uh, the appeal process. If you really just want just go ahead and let's get this over with. It does not take that long 
to get a sentence with the Grim Reaper and then it's over. It's the appeal process. So many cowards who are guilty, they can take life, but they cannot give a life. So they sit there behind bars in this miserable place for decades, living the life of a zoo animal. Because that's, I mean, you caged up. It's, you are basically like a, a, a zoo animal. So I'm thinking to myself, for those, even me, there was a chance that I could be locked up the rest of my life in the situation that I was in. And I thought about suicide all the time. I'm going to be the rest of my life in this? I'd rather be dead, get it over with. So it would be, and we should have the right, I don't want to be in prison like this the rest of my life. I don't want to be in a mental facility living this locked up, caged life. No purpose, no goal. You just waiting to die. You can't do nothing. You're worthless. There's no value. Let's end this. So a prisoner should have the right to make a motion to the court. I would like the death sentence. I know I did not qualify for the death penalty, but I, I can't take this no more. I just want a day of execution. I want to die. This is my life. I, I'm done. Then you have those who suffer from chronic pain. There are those who suffer from these horrible sicknesses. They can barely breathe every day. In constant pain. Suffering. There was a doctor. Who is no longer here. But he went to jail over this. He made a mistake. A doctor called. Kovokian I believe. That's how he pronounced it. Dr. Kovokian. Kovokian. You can look him up. They call him Dr. Death. And he made a machine. And he put the chemicals in the machine. And the only thing you have to do is hit the lever. Lethal injection. Now, there are some countries who do allow, and it's legal assisted suicide in some countries in America they love life so much look how you treat life the poverty the violence the inflation they care so much for, for life. A nation of hypocrites. You have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars to better yourself, to go to college, to go to a trade school. You would think that a nation would want their citizens to be educated. They would want their citizens to have a trade so they can take care of themselves thus they pay taxes and they make their nation stronger that's too much like right we need some people that we can exploit we need some people who we can put in jail 
A lot of people, a lot of persons are in jail and prison, not because they're criminals, but because of lack of opportunity. And they get caught up in the criminal game. They get caught up in crime. If any Tom, Dick, and Harry or Shaniqua or Becky they can take a gun, they can take a knife and take our life against our will shouldn't we have the right to take our own life? And some people do. But there should be, we should have the right to go out of this world with our choice and humanely laying up in pain every day in a wheelchair, bedridden. Oh man. My mother was in a nursing home. And some of you don't like going to nursing home because you don't want to see human suffering. You don't want to see. You want to see human beings all happy and la di da. You don't want to go to the veterans hospital because you don't want to see human misery. You don't even want to go down to the welfare office. You think it's a happy thing to go and ask for food stamps. And other assistance. You think that's you think people that get food stamps, EBT card, and assistance, you think that's you th now some per people don't have any pride. I remember there was an episode of Good Times and James refused. I don't want no charity like that. The Evans family refused charity. There was a time when people had pride. I don't want no food stamps. I don't want no assistance. Because they had pride and integrity. Learn how to do it out. But we should have the right when we know that our life is done and we are suffering and it's horrible. Those in these nursing homes, even before it get to that point, before you begin to lose your mind, say, look, look, I need to go. I don't want to suffer like this. I'm healthy. I don't want to live in a mental institution the rest of my life. I don't want to be in this prison the rest of my, I don't, I'd rather just be dead and get it over with. How can we say that we are humane or human and we allow and we can watch people suffer? Can't talk, can't walk. The only reason why some people are alive is because of machines. That's not life. That's not, that's not life. That's not living. Laying in a bed 24 hours a day. You lay in a bed so long that the blood begins to clot and give you problems. Because you lay in one place for so long because the body has to move up. What do you think? Jot down your comments. Let's, let's talk about this. Shouldn't we have the right to assisted suicide. What you think about that? Interesting topic. Jot down your comments and we'll catch you on the flip. This was and is the Realities Temple on the Earth.